Would you like to begin by thanking the anthems of the United States Armed Forces? If you have served or are currently serving, please stand when you hear your branch of song.
We would like to welcome the veterans, guests, alumni, faculty, and students to our 2022 Veterans Day Assembly. Please direct your attention to the screen as we begin our assembly with the video of soldiers coming home.
missing garlic. Our first ingredient is our garlic. Use an E6 staff sergeant, infantryman, pathfinder, air assault school instructor, and your repel master. Most of us know him as coach. Please welcome Trent Holt.
Now so grab your own flag and you got hand on it. He said, have a seat. And I sat down. Is this the first time you've been to our little town? I said, I think it is. He said, I don't like the crab, but we're kind of crab that I grabbed your own flag. You see, we got a little hole in that flag there from Washington to there across the Delaware. And you got powder burner, the night Francis got to you. Set up Washington, right? Say, can you see? And it got a bad rip in New Orleans with Pigginham and Jackson tugging at the seams. And it almost fell on the Alabama beside the Texas flag, but she waved on free. She got a cut with a sword at Chancellorville, and she had cut again at Shiloh Hill. There was Robert E. Lee, Bear Guard, and Brad, and the Southland Blue Car on that bag of old flag, on Blanchard's Field in World War I. And one. She got a big hole in a burning gun. She turned blood red in World War II. She hung limp and love a time or two. She was in the Korean War in Vietnam. She went where she was sent by her uncle Sam. She waved on ships above the grind and foam. And now they about quit waiting her back here at home. In her own little land, she's been abused. She's been burned, dishonored, and now confused. And the government for which she stands is scandalized about the land. And she's getting bread buried, and she's wearing a hood. But she's in good shape for the shape she's in. Because she's been through the fire before, and I believe she can take a whole lot more. So we raise her up every morning. We take her down every night. We don't let her touch the ground, and we fold her up tight. On second thought, I do like to pray, because I'm not proud of that man.
The students of Upper Falls High School and the members of the Student Council would like to thank our veterans for their service to our country and the ideals we hold dear, and also for honoring us today with their attendance and words of inspiration. Following the conclusion of the assembly, we would like to invite students and staff to greet and personally thank our veterans here today. Thank you all for being here to show your support for the men and women who have so greatly sacrificed periods of their lives.
They came up from the coast side of the world. We recognize them ourselves. Thank you for all the Thank you for all the coast veterans and all those people who served in the military. Thank you. Thank you to Jim, Joe, my grandfather who served on the day 1944. Thank you all the women who served, especially my grandpa Jane and my uncle Fred. If uh, my uncle Shane served 13 years in my grandpa Shane served a lot, thank you all. Thank you, Jack, for your service. I want to say thank you to all the veterans for their service and a special shout out to Mama and Papa Jerry. I just want to say thank you to all the veterans who have called uh, to serve our country. And especially a special shout out to my dad and my trouble who served 11 years in the guard. We just thank you for all the Thank you, veterans, so much for serving our country. I am a proud daughter of an Air Force veteran, a sister of an Army veteran, and a very proud aunt of a senior with Company 81 at West Point Military Academy. As a grandson of a veteran, I just want to say thank you to all of our veterans who worked for you and the I wouldn't be here today. Thank you, veterans, for your service, and a special thank you to my father in law, Ronnie. I just want to say a special thank you. And a really special thank you to my dad for the whole who served 11 years in the Guard and my husband Clayton, who spent four and a half years after the duty in our hospital in one of these small school countries. Thank you all. Uh, we will be very happy with you. Thank you to the veterans who have the sacrifice of human families that we have in the Thank you for your service. 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 I just want to thank all the veterans for their service. We love you and appreciate you. Thank you for your service. Thank you, veterans, for your service. Thank you, veterans. Thank you for your service. Thank you, veterans, for your service. We love you. Thank you, veterans, for your service. Thank you, veterans. Thank you for your service. I just want to say thank you to all the veterans who serve our country. I just tell how much we appreciate it. Thank you for your service. 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 On behalf of the Waters Hall, everybody, myself, and I'm going to be here. I want to thank all the veterans. Most men and women who stepped out of the comfort zone to defend our country. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you, veterans, for your service. Thank you, veterans. Thank you for your service. But I just want to send a special thanks out to all of our veterans who sacrificed your courage and your service to inspire me. A thanks to you and everything you do to live in the greatest country in the world. Thanks. Thank you, veterans. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you, veterans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
the Center for Wonderful Lives and the Mayor of the Student Party will tend to think about the missions of this service. And the ideals we hold here. And also for honoring us today with the attendance and water restoration. Far from the inclusion of the assembly, we'd like to invite students and staff to greet and personally thank our efforts for the day. Thank you all for being here to show your support for the men and women who have so bravely sacrificed here to their lives for our freedoms. We appreciate you more than you would ever know. Thank you for coming to our Veterans Day program. Have a wonderful rest of your day.